Hello and welcome to another video. Today we're taking our existing form that we did in our last video about licenses and we're going to add a new one for generating a photo sheet. So there was a request on the forum from Piero Ren, hopefully I pronounced that correctly, for asking about how to generate a photo sheet in tap forms. And my response here is that you can set up a custom layout, set it up for labels in the design section, and then basically drag and drop the fields and, and do it. Uh, got a reply back uh, with with the basic question of, well, how do you get the PDF out of it? And so my my answer here is to print it, but I want to actually sit down and let's let's just diagram this out. Let's let's do this. And what we'll go do is create a new form called forum regulars, and we're going to have uh, a name field. And we'll add a photo field. Boop. Okay. So we'll get rid of that. Let's make that number one. And we'll see what that looks like. So I'm going to add myself first because, well, one, I'm here. But we'll do that. Let's add one more. Let's. Go have a look at using tap forms and let's find this unbearably slow thread. It's bound to have at least Brendan in it. So let's grab Brendan and we'll drag his picture in as well. Who else is in this thread? Anyone interesting? Uh, do one more of this, uh, Mr. Chris. And two T's. Make sure I spell his name correctly. And we'll put that there. Okay, cool. Is there anyone else in this thread? Just Brendan. Sweet. Okay, so we've got a couple of different forms here. We've got a couple of different people here. Uh, and we've created our form. So now the next step is we're going to create a new layout. So let's go up to the top here, click on this little button, and we're going to create a new layout, and we'll just call it as, that's not the one that we're after, photo sheet. We'll call it photo sheet. And we're going to switch design for here over to be our labels. We're going to go with US letter, and then we're going to select the label. Pick a letter and we'll scroll down a bit because that's where there we go. Clean edge business cards. Let's hit select on that. So we see here that the UI now has reduced down in size uh, and we can drag in our photo field. We'll put that there. We'll delete that because we don't need that. And put our picture there, full sized. And we'll put a name in it as well. And we'll delete the automatically generated placeholder and we'll put our field here. Let's make that full sized. Maybe we should put it underneath. Let's do that. Put it like that. Okay, that looks kind of good. And maybe we resize this up a little bit to sort of fit there. If we had other fields here, it'd be good. If we had like an ID field, maybe we could put a barcode or something. But we'll, we'll, we'll go with this for the for our example. Uh, one thing I missed is make sure we tick multiple records per page because that will do one, two, three, four, five, six. And now we need to print. So let's hit print. Control, uh, control P, command P uh, on the Mac uh, and file print. And we're going to print the selected layouts and we're going to print all records in exa this example. So when we do that, we see that now we've got our layout uh, and then we can obviously uh, save as a PDF, send it to any of the places that it accepts PDFs, uh, or obviously in this case, print it to one of our printers. Uh, and that's how we would generate a quick and simple photo sheet in, sheet in Tap Forms 5. 